everybody, I'm Aaron from Game Grubs. I just wanted to put out a message that says thank you to all the fan artists, fan musicians, fan writers, fan anything. We do anything related to Game Grubs. It's so freaking cool that you guys are so creative. I feel like we have one of the most creative communities in this entire YouTube sphere. If not, like, freaking, I don't know, even when I look up, like, Game of Thrones stuff, there isn't as much creativity as there is with, with fucking Game Grubs. Fucking Game Grumps! We're on a couch! Talking about video games and people like to draw us in like medieval armor and shit. It's fucking cool. So thank you. And keep doing what you're doing because if you don't create, nobody else will. And your art is fucking worth it. To keep making, I mean. Anyway, enjoy the show. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey everybody! Bonjour! Hey, welcome back to uh, Game. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's sec. Italian for hello. Uh, Whoa! Uh, uh. No, I think that's French. Right. Sorry if I blew a little bit of that in your direction. Nah, it's, it was a it was a gift. So you may notice that uh, from the last episode, there was not a jump. Uh, this is the next episode. Shalom. Uh, I am wearing. <laughs> that's German <laughs> that, for goodbye. <laughs> was it what? because of this guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hello. <laughs> Um, so I have new armor and a new sword, so just so you know, I leveled up a little bit off screen, so I'm wearing the northern armor instead of the cleric armor now. I was gonna say, you look really good. Yeah, oh, thank you. Hey. And I'm using a dark sword now. I still have my broadsword in check, but the dark sword is way better, so nice. why would I do that? Nice. Now check this out, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. I'd watch rather this. be dark than abroad. What? Uh, sh Kevin, can you, uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> okay, watch this, watch this, watch this. I was talking from the sword's perspective. Watch this. Okay. Oh, five chairs in one roll! Damn, Oh, it's a shame they- Do you think they stacked them in sixes on purpose? To just- <laughs> So you could just not get yeah, one. Yeah, so you could feel like a dick. Hold on, I gotta- I gotta- Alright, Aaron's fixing something on the TV. I just wanna turn up the volume a little bit. It, it hell, I need it. Alright, sweet. I need sweet. it a little bit. Did it- Have we ever mentioned on the show, um, our friend who came to MAGFest, uh, who, who asked us the question at MAGFest and gave me permission to tell black jokes? Uh, no. I love that guy. <laughs> okay. Because when, um, whoa, when our boy Jacob Grey Worm was here, uh, we were talking about this and he was laughing. And we were like, we never go too far, right? Like with, uh, with our fake racist jokes. And he's like, uh -huh. no, it's fine. I laugh. And, um, and we're like, cool. And then, uh, I remembered that there was, uh, I don't know his name, but he's a friendly black dude, uh, who's come to several MAGFest panels. And, uh, this past year was like, Hey Dan, uh, I just, I noticed that when you, sometimes when you tell black jokes, you, you stop short and you don't tell them. And I just want to say that as a black man, I, on behalf of all black people, give you permission to tell black jokes. <laughs> and I was like, that is fucking awesome. And I'm almost <laughs> positive that that will not work for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but oh man, special shout out to that dude for um, for making me feel comfortable. I never uh, want to hurt anyone's feelings. Oh no, of course not. I mean, comedy isn't about hurting people's feelings; it's about making people laugh. Right. So, although you know, it's it's funny you say that, and yet um, I remember uh, you ever listen to the podcast? How did this get made? Uh, I haven't heard it, but I, I sort of saw their like precursor because I used to watch. Sheer and Hubel live all the time at UCB. Yes. They were like my favorite duo to see live. They're awesome. And they did sort of like a proto version of that in their live show. Very cool. Before they did the podcast. Yeah, it, it's um, oh. Scurrying Beast, the big ass kind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't, 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 don't wake me. Don't wake up. It's cool. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, hey, you are. We're all Wow, friends. they really are tough, huh? We're all, we're all friends here. Oh, he's shit. Not, he's not that tough. No, I mean, you're not doing a lot of damage. Whatever. He's not that tough. <laughs> not so tough, not so tough. Um... Doing a lot of damage now. Yeah, the thing that made me bring that up was, uh, they were talking about the Love Guru on How Did This Get Made, and, um... They were saying part of the reason that movie, whoa, That part of the movie, the- part of the reason that the comedy in that movie doesn't work is because, um... It's supposed to, like, be, like, a gentle kind of enlightened comedy, which makes people feel good, and, um... Uh, I think it was Matt Walsh. I think he was the guest, and he was like, "That 
intrinsically doesn't work. Like comedy is about judgment and about like being negative and messing with people and laughing at someone in addition to with someone. And I was like, damn. And uh, maybe a style of comedy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Pff. Anytime, anytime I listen to people break down comedy, I'm like, I feel like I don't know anything about this. No, that's not true. Comedy. Comedy can be anything. Comedy can be a fucking silly voice. You That's know? true. Like it, it's just who knows what it is. It's a fucking visceral response to something. Yeah. Like sometimes you can't define it. Sometimes someone just says like Larry, and then they're like, ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> you said Larry weird, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but he did. Uh, Matt Walsh actually did mention that on the episode. He was like, comedy is also about occasionally saying Larry weird. All right. Well, thanks for that condescending joke right there. <laughs> <laughs> See, it was it was condescending and judgmental, <laughs> and I made myself laugh. <laughs> but I mean, like you know, comedy is also about like exaggeration, and like did, that's a different kind of comedy, and like a different kind of comedy is like, I mean, I would say the standard joke structure is like setting up imagery and then completely yeah. dashing that imagery. What so, do you get you know, when you cross like, a noodle and a doodle, skaboodle? <laughs> I, know, I know, I know the basis of all comedy. Right, that's not at the expense of anybody. <laughs> and then, uh, and, and you know, it's like a man walks into a bar. Ouch! You know, it's like right. Th there's a setup there, and there's an expectation, and then you sort of turn that expectation. That's or I, my. I feel like that's the basic comedy. Or my favorite from our Kirby playthrough: a man walks into a bar. His alcoholism is tearing this family apart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. We got to try to find more. God, what playthrough was it where- so I don't agree with that. Fair just enough. To, just to- oh, I may, dude, dude, hold on. Oh. I want to show you- talking about comedy oh, right yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's this guy right here. Yeah. This guy right here. We've, this se is, we've seen this dude before. Yeah, but th I put a message here off screen. Oh, you did. So check it out. There's going to be a gesture that comes out too. Oh, Watch this. Okay. Thrust butthole. <laughs> 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 that was me! I did that! <laughs> Aaron! Oh, I'm so proud of you. You did, you've done great work here oh, today. Oh, thank you, man. That's comedy yeah, right yeah. there. Anyone who thinks we don't know comedy <laughs> better take a quick look at that butthole. Thrust butthole. Oh, my God. That sounds like a great name for, like, a superhero. I'm Thrust Butthole. <laughs> Saver of all poops from going out too quickly. Yeah. Thrust that poop back inside. Rescuer of the colon. <laughs> Champion of the sphinct. Rolling ahead. Oh. Well, all right. Hey. Time for rolling. Oh, I, a rusted I, coin. Oh, cool. Thank you for reading that. I looked in the wrong spot. That's okay. Um, what good do rusted coins do? I don't fucking care. Okay, great. Do you think I give a shit? Look at I, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did I dress up like this for Halloween? Oh, I thought he was a bird at first. He's got like a human face. Yeah, he does. What's a good message to put under him? Uh... No, if only I had a, if only I had a, uh, I'd go with body parts, body parts, if only I had a rear, <laughs> or if only I had a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if only I had a magic. If only I had a... Boy. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> that's comedy right there. That's comedy. Mm-hmm. Right on. I love how... Oh, jeez. That's no way to treat uh, a man who is just chilling. But you know what's interesting is like, I say all that stuff about comedy, right? And mm -hmm. that's sort of like, I don't know, comedy 101. You know, it's like, oh, you take imagery and then you spin it. Right. Um, but for me, that's not always what I find funny. What right. I find funny are usually, like, silly faces or, like, weird thing, weird ways to say things. Or sort of, like, parodies of real-life circumstances. <laughs> yeah, I know I've said- I know I've said this on the show before, but it's true. Like, jokes are the kind of thing, uh, someone once compared jokes to, uh, a, a frog being dissected. Like, you can find out how it works, but the frog usually dies in the process. Yeah. <laughs> so it's 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 better to just enjoy it for what it is. Whoa, you think you're storming the castle? 
bitches. These guys are silly, dude. They are. And this guy. Whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> hey, really he's go. super ridiculous. Overstepped his bounds a little bit. Yeah, and he's dead. What the, whoa, 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 fucking that guy. Uh, I never knew he was there. Whoa, whoa, uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> you and you. Oh, oh you guys are all so wacky. Yeah, God, there's a lot of these dudes. He's trying to throw a thing what at me. What even are they? Uh, they're like little, um... Like so they're, gnomes? They're wearing hats of, like, prisoners. Oh. It's supposed to be like a shame hat, kinda. I see. Like, oh, you're a prisoner, so you look like that, and you but wear But they're that. still gonna fight for the cause, huh? Well, I think they're just kinda fighting. I don't think everybody's on the same side. Really? There's a lot of enemies that'll, like, fight each other in this game. What the hell is this place? I... I'm sure... I'm sure there's a lot of lore that, like, we've skipped there's over. There's a ton of lore. Yeah. And I'm, look, I'm curious. And look, I've gotten a lot of flack for, in the first episode, saying that this game is all, like, fantasy babble. Mm hmm And... There's, there's a very, like, intricate backstory to this. All I'm right? sure. I don't want to dismiss the brilliance of Miyazaki-san. Yeah, dude, I mean, everyone can be right. Like, th it, there can be an intricate, beautiful plot to some, and to you, it's fantasy babble. Well, and, and especially, oh, hello. especially like, whoa, especially like right out the gate where it's like, ah, the darkness, the shadows, and it's like, all right, it's just, it's just kind of setting a tone. Right. Even though it is really feeding you information about the story. But w what I like about this game, and I don't think I made clear when I was talking what? about that kind of stuff is most of the story is sort of like environmental or like situational. Okay. Like every, every, every place that the people are, that the enemies are, or like... You know, the circumstances in which the- I think I was explaining this in the, About like the- the lady with the two souls inside of her, and it was like, oh, she was pregnant. Oh, yeah. That kind of thing. Um... That's... That's what I find more interesting. It's just kind of like, oh, that guy was there for a reason. This guy right here was over there for a reason. Right, right, right. That, that had to do with, like, setting up the environment or, like, how this area works. This guy's around the corner. He's sneaky. Ew, wait, hold on. Is that gook like moving down the screen? Like, oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> and we just like continue like that raising the key for the next 12 minutes. <laughs> You know what? You know what? It just occurred to me. What's that? Uh, well, first of all, it's time for next time on Game Grumps. But mm -hmm. you know what? I'll say this first. I know a lot of people like watch this show like in bed, like before they go to sleep. Yeah. Um, perhaps with a slumbering lover or family member nearby. Right. Um, kind of, kind of makes me wonder how many times we've woken people up just by being like, ah! like randomly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know the thing is about. Uh about that in particular, uh -huh. is that, uh, I, I apply, like, an equalizer to the audio, uh -huh. so that it's all about the same level. Mm. So nothing's ever, like, too loud or too soft. Really? Yeah. So you're saying I could have been half-assing my screaming effort this entire time? Yes. Well, I mean, it's still, you know, it's uh, like the emotion of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh but like my when, God. when, when it, <laughs> and then I go like this. You can see on the waveform, and it's huge. Yeah. But in the actual waveform that goes up on the show, it's like it's all pretty much the same. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. A little behind the scenes action, sir. Yeah. Can I help? Con uh, well, all right. I mean, you nah. looked like he was going through some hard times. He didn't and really want to have anything to do with. I guess technically you did end those hard. Oh, look at his legs. I just want to dance! <laughs> that's like- that's like half of a swastika. Wow. Dark way to put that, Aaron. <laughs> My personal trainer says it's a... what is it? A... 90-90? I think that's what he calls it. What? When one leg is 90 degrees and the other is 90 oh, degrees. Oh, I thought you meant a swastika. No. <laughs> Great Nazi! 90 out of 90! <laughs> Alright, next time we game grow. Later! Fuck the Nazis. There, I said it. What a controversial statement. I did not see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it.